made plans of mice and men sometimes get changed. Tiggy will be up in a second, Tig Moore will be up in a sec, but I want to recognize uh, some brothers of mine, and I have four of them here in the audience. My oldest brother is right there, Haswell Franklin. I have the honor to be, I was inducted into the, the Virginia chapter of the National Wrestling Hall of Fame uh, in 02, and, um, and I was inducted because of my work with the Virginia Duels. I was the young, I'm one of the youngest founders of the Virginia Duels. I was the guy that got, well, totally called Dan Gable. Do you know Dan Gable? Went, no. <laughs> and uh, 35 years later, the Virginia Duels, which is in the Hampton Coliseum, in case you didn't know it, is the grandfather of the dual meat system, period. And uh, so I got in, um, and in this room are some of my brothers and great uncle right there. So there's some members of the Maryland chapter of the National Wrestling Hall of Fame. I'd like for you four guys to stand up, and I'd like for Joel Weber to come on up here right now. And those are Kenny Keebler, right? Stand up, Kenny. Kyler, excuse me. Kenny's up there. And we have a Pete, a Chuck Marcus. Chuck Marcus? Is any Indian name? Stand up. Okay. Joel, Joel Weber and Haswell Franklin. All right. A little bit later, we're going to give an award for the award because the award winner from Maryland for the Dave Schultz Excellence Award by the National Wrestling Hall of Fame. And we're gonna recognize him a little bit later. And brother, I love you. Thank you. Quickly, I just wanted to welcome everyone. I know this is a great evening. Uh, wonderful people have come out to support wrestling. Uh, on behalf of the National Wrestling Hall of Fame Maryland chapter, I just can't say enough about all the good things we're trying to do to promote our sport here in the state of Maryland. We try to recognize uh, coaches from the junior league, uh, high school wrestling coaches, as well as officials for their commitment and service to the sport of wrestling. Uh, these gentlemen who have been inducted into the National Wrestling Hall of Fame Maryland chapter, it's a tremendous honor. They set the bar for all the other coaches around the state, but we need help in terms of putting out the words, just like we're doing tonight for our sport of wrestling. We believe it's, it's important that people know that this sport is for people to grow as individuals, to be young adults and leaders in our communities, and to be good family members, and the sport of wrestling does that. I, I know it made a big difference in my life, it made probably a, a tremendous difference in everyone here, because that's what's wrestling does. It just makes us better. And I cannot say more than you know, if you have anything that made you who you are today, you can probably look back at wrestling somewhere, whether you are male or female, the mom, the sister, the aunt, the uncle, the grandfather. It's awesome. My father was a New York State wrestling champ back in like 1938. You know, I could never imagine that. And I just think how cool that is, that I have that legacy. Did it happen to me? No, but the sport made me a better person. And I am so happy to be part of it. And I wish each of you would think about what the sport is doing and really support it. And as we were saying, we want to bring two more people to this uh, banquet again next year. And I hope you'll do that. And on behalf of the National Wrestling Hall of Fame, Maryland chapter, it's a pleasure being here. Look forward to it.